Uh, starting today, going forward, we'll regularly be catching up with fighters to see how their prep is going, any news, etc. Um, this week, I have the honour of chatting to Darren Till, ahead of his hugely anticipated bout against the popular UFC star Donald Cerrone. Uh, Darren Till, good evening, sir. Thank you sincerely for taking time to chat to myself. Good uh, evening, mate. I hope you're all okay. Absolutely. Um, yeah, nice one. Thanks, thanks for taking the time out of your uh, your training to chat to us at Lee. No, Daddy. no, no problem at all, mate. <clears throat> First of all, congratulations with your uh, your win over Bojan. My God. Thanks, mate. It was a good fight, wasn't it? Oh, absolutely. Like, uh, I think your style. You know, it suits the, the the fight of the night kind of style, the the stand up, uh, yeah. tough tough fights, um, and I think a, a lot of fans that's what they want to see as well, like isn't it? Well, yeah, in the UFC, all the fans, you know, what what they, they want to see, they want to see stand up, you know, they want to see you know two guys going at it, bloodshed. They want to see you know that's what they want to see. A lot of fans, you know, they appreciate the submission and the wrestling, but most fans tune in for striking don't they so you know I'm, I'm happy all the time to show showcase my striking skills to the my striking skills to the fans yeah I know it's a pleasure I, like it's a, an absolute pleasure to watch as well like I obviously like you said there you hit the nail on the head a lot of people appreciate the submissions but the exciting stuff is is the is the stuff on the feet like and I, like I was at your fight uh, in Dublin against Nicholas Dalby and Again, a three-round absolute war, and <laughs> fight of the night. Like you got a standing yeah. ovation. It was it was incredible. Like you know, and um, I I think like you know the fact that it was a draw didn't take away from it for me as as a fan. Like you know, it was what a fight. Well, yeah. If you look at it like that, anyone watching my fight, you know, they, they definitely will appreciate what a fight it was. It was. You know, it was just a three-round war. And it was, you know, it, it was good to be a part of that show, Dublin, and you know, the, the fight with Nicholas. And you know, I still respect Miss Nicholas as a fighter and that, even though he got cut. But yeah, it was great, mate. I feel like I've been in great fights in the UFC. I feel like the fans really appreciate me. So you know, yeah, I, like I think, like you're, you're, you've already got a, a huge following. You already had a huge following anyway before even hitting the yeah. UFC, like, but. Um, yeah. Yeah, I think being in those kind of fights, it really does draw the attention on you. And yeah, they're they're the fights, they're they're the kind of fighters that people want to see on the cards. Like, um, oh yeah, mate, exactly. People want to see fights when I'm in, and they want to see the knockouts and the elbows, and you know the the, the confidence and you know the trash talk and people. That's what the fans tune in to see. So you know, it's good that I am one of them fighters, mate. You know, I'm going to have a long career in the UFC. I know that for sure. And being a scouser as well, you you'll definitely have a huge Irish following anyway. So, yeah, I always get messages from Irish fans. Like I literally, I feel like it's a second home for the for the fighting. The Irish fans they always message me. They appreciate me, and you know it's good to always you know have the support from the Irish fans. Obviously, yeah, the biggest star, Con- Conor McGregor as well. You know he's a big star. Um, like a- after the Dalby fight, you had a, a bit of a. A shoulder issue, did you? And it took a while. Yeah, it took a yeah. while to to shake it. Yeah, yeah, it, yeah. It was it was just you know it was one of them injuries, mate. You know, I, I had to take eighteen months off to repair and that. But you know, it was hard. But now I'm back. You know, I've had two fights in quick su- succession. You know, and yeah. I've got me third now, my biggest fight in my life with Donald Cerrone. So I'm I'm in a happy place right now. I'm very happy. Yeah, yeah. Like you said, there. Next up is Cerrone, uh, kickboxing yeah. versus Muay Thai. Um, yeah, I know that Cork is a kind of a Cork is a big hub where I'm from. Cork is a big hub for for Muay Thai, and there's huge excitement yeah. here about you facing uh, <laughs> Cerrone. It, like, there's a huge Muay Thai community here watching you. You know, so um, they're, all, they're all rooting for you here. Like, um, <laughs> it's right, it's good as well. You know, and Cerrone's had a good career. He's he's been around for a long time. He's a huge name, but you know, now it's time for the young guy to step in. So you know, this is my time. Yeah, he's he's bluffing a little bit there, is he saying that like he must be hiding under a rock if he, you know, he was saying that he didn't know who you were. No, it's I don't take it as disrespect. You know, maybe he doesn't know who I am. Maybe he doesn't follow the, the guys a bit yeah. him, or you know, maybe he doesn't watch every UFC event. UFC event, or, you know, I don't take any disrespect. But you know, he, he definitely knows me now. I know he's definitely watched my videos. Yeah, you know, he's cut, he's gonna have to come prepared because if he doesn't. It will. It will really be. It won't be like a bad night. It'll be. It'll be. You know, he could be going to hospital because I'm a dangerous person to fight against. I really am. Yeah. I. Uh, I think I'm. A lot of pressure in the face. What I'm going to put on him is really going to make him scared because I'm not just a 
you know, I'm very hard hit and I'm so big and I think it's just going to be like a lot of pressure for him. I don't think yeah. he's used to someone like me. Like he fought Robbie, but Robbie's small and the same size yeah. and Robbie's a bit wild. Like I really pick me shots and when I try to hit, I try to really, really hit. And I don't see him being able to take the shot, you know what I mean? Yeah, and there probably is going to be a big size. Like you're, you're, a, you're a massive 170 pounder. Like yeah, there's gonna there's gonna be he's gonna be surprised. I think you know a lot of people are as well. When when you face off, I think they're gonna they're gonna see it. You know, you're, they'll see the, the, the yeah. mass that you carry, and I think it'll I think yeah. it'll surprise a lot of people. Um, so yeah, you reckon you reckon big stand up battle and Cerrone is gonna be rattled early. Well, I think Cerrone could try and take it to the ground. I don't think he wants to stand with me. I really do. So I am prepared in every aspect striking, wrestling and submission and you know, wherever the fight goes I'm I'm very, very confident and I'm very, very prepared, I work hard I believe in my coaches, so you know Yeah, that, Sp- you speak, know. speaking about coaches there, like your your own coach in Liverpool had had a bit of a massive shock years ago, you know, you've come over or you've overcome a lot of adversity in your career and he suggested you move to Brazil, so that seems to have been yeah. a master stroke at this stage doesn't it? Yeah, yeah what, what, what my coach has done for me over here in England and my coach in Brazil, I can't thank them enough. You know, everything I do is for myself, my family and for my coaches. You know, I, I'm so loyal and so trustworthy with them. You know, it's yeah. just, we have, we have a great connection. Oh, that, that genuinely it is. Like, a lot of people think that a coach is just there to, you know, t- teach your skills. But coaches yeah. are like, they're, they're, they're like a life coach as well. Like, uh, they are. They, they really are. It's definitely true. They, they, they teach you about everything. They teach you about life. They teach you about attitude, respect, discipline, and you know being humble. So it's great to have a coach like that in my life. Yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah. And with, are you in a camp now? Are you? Are you? Or do you ever come out of camp? Do you? No, I didn't come out of camp. I had a few days off to heal, but I'm I'm in camp. I'm training hard every day. Every day I'm working hard. Um, and wait, like. Are you gonna? Do you walk a lot heavier than what you weigh in at, or do you? Do you no, struggle? my weight's my weight. My weight's fine. You know, I made championship weight my last fight, so you know, my weight's fine. My weight's not a problem. Yeah, yeah. I, I genuinely, I, I'm like, as a fan, I'm genuinely excited to. to <laughs> they're the kind of fights that I like seeing as well. Like you know, so. It's an exciting fight. It definitely is. Yeah, I, I genuinely can't wait. A, a little bit off topic. What What do you think about DC being reinstalled as champion? Uh, personal opinion. I don't. I don't know. Maybe he 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 had to accept it, but I, if it was me, I don't know if I would have accepted it. I, just through my own model yeah. models and pride, and you know, he got knocked out. You know, and Jones. Okay, he was taking steroids, but that kick. You know, I don't think that's got anything to do with steroids. I think that kick was set up and was yeah. a strategy. You know, obviously John Jones has done wrong. You know, and we all can't. You know, is 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 he going to fight again? There's a lot of questions to be answered. But yeah. I don't know whether DC should have accepted the title. But he's been a, he's been a, a great champion DC as well. You know, he hasn't done any of the shit that John's done. So yeah. it's it's actually a hard, touchy subject to to to, to speak about. So. You know, I'm not the best person to give advice yeah. or give opinion. Yeah, but, you know, yeah, that's yeah. just my opinion. Yeah, no, so, I, you know, I like yeah. There's that seems to be it seems to be kind of catching everybody. Some people are saying I ah, was right. Some people are saying he was wrong. In this world, no one ever agrees. So it's always you know, fifty fifty. You know, uh, yeah. Certain people agree and certain people don't. You know, you can't. It's just people's opinion, and everyone is entitled to their opinion. So I don't get angry at people for having opinion. You know. Yeah. I suppose back back to yourself. Like, um, let's say, you know, come come Cerrone, um, you get you get the win. Um, are you, you're are you're gunning you're gunning for the title now, like, aren't you? Who who do you want next? Well, yeah, to? no, not just yet. But I beat Cerrone, then I beat one more guy, and you know, we'll start speaking about you know, uh, we'll start speaking about you know the title. We'll see what we'll yeah. see what happens. But for now, biggest test is Cerrone. Let's go and beat him and prove a lot of people wrong and. You know, show that I'm a force to be reckoned with in the welterweight division. So you know, that's yeah. the next step. That's the next big thing. Absolutely. Do you do you have any um, yeah. sponsors that you'd like to mention, Darren? Uh, just uh, there's a lot of sponsors to mention, but you know, I just want to say to them thanks because without them, 
all this wouldn't be possible. And, you know, just thanks to my family and my coaches and, you know, all the fans, mate. Yeah, absolutely. Come here. Yeah. Genuinely, thank you for taking time out of your, out of your training. No problem to, to at chat all, my man. Um, no problem. Like, yeah. Um, keep doing no. what you're doing. Best, best of skills in the fight, and you know we might, we might chat after it, and we could see, we could see yeah. then. Um, no worries, yeah. mate. Thanks very much for yourself as well. You're a gent. Thank you, sir. All right. See you later, mate. All right. Good luck. Bye, bye, bye. Ta-da.